Today, we're talking about getting bigger for rugby, and here are our top 10 tips to help you do just that. Hey Renegades, Jamie Bain here from RugbyRenegade.com where we help rugby players get stronger, fitter, faster and stay injury free so they can dominate their opposition on the rugby field. Here are our top 10 tips for getting bigger for rugby. Number one, get strong. Increasing your strength will not only improve your performance and prevent injuries, but also give you the opportunity to stimulate greater hypertrophy. You see, the heavier weights you lift, the bigger the stimulus on the muscles and therefore the greater the potential for hypertrophy. Two, sufficient volume. Contrary to popular belief, high reps aren't the key for hypertrophy. Research shows that any rep range will stimulate hypertrophy, so long as you use enough volume. A good goal is shooting for 25 to 50 reps per exercise. This gives you a lot of options, 3 times 8 five fives, 3 tens, 6 6s, 5 tens, 4 8s, 4 12s, I could go on but you get the picture. 25 to 50 reps and you get bigger. 3. Eat a caloric surplus. To build muscle you need energy to repair your muscles and lay down new muscle tissue. To do this without gaining excess body fat, increase your calorie intake by about 10%. Monitor yourself every two weeks, and if you're not gaining weight, increase it again by another couple of percent. Number four, focus on big compound lifts. Big compound exercises like the squat, deadlift, and bench press are ideal exercises for packing on muscle and getting stronger. They're easy to progress in load and increase the demand on your muscles. These exercises should take up about 80% of your training program. Number five, minimize cardio. As we said, you need energy to build muscle tissue, so you don't want to expend it on other activities. However, you're a rugby player first, so you don't want to limit your rugby training, but extra conditioning should take a back seat. Number six, increase protein intake. Protein is the king when it comes from recovering from exercise and building muscle mass. Aim to get at least one fist-sized portion of protein per meal and supplement with whey protein following your weight session. If you're really keen, make sure you get 1.5 to two grams per kilo of body weight per day. Good sources of protein include lean meat, fish, eggs, and whey protein. Seven, don't avoid eccentrics. The eccentric part of an exercise is the lower portion. It is during the eccentric that most of the damage is done, but this isn't bad, it stimulates muscle hypertrophy. Eccentrics are also a great stimulus for strength gains and injury prevention. Try to include some exercises with an accentuated eccentric, so three to five second lowering phase. Number eight, use isolation exercises correctly. As we said, you already understand that 8% of your training program will be big compound exercises, but that leaves 20% for isolation exercises. Isolation exercises are single joint exercises that often focus on one muscle group. These are great for bringing up weak body parts and developing muscle balance. Good options are shrugs, lateral raises, calf raises, and arm work. These are a great way of increasing total volume, again to increase hypertrophy, but without putting too much stress on the joints and body. Tip number nine, don't neglect carbs. Most popular diets involve restricting carbs and have given them somewhat of a bad reputation. But carbohydrates are essential to fuel high intensity exercise, so think weight training and rugby, and also from recovering from them. You shouldn't overeat carbs and should avoid some of the processed carbs. Try and stick to brown rice, quinoa, couscous and fruit. Tip number 10, and this is key, slow and steady wins the race. Whenever you see players put on too much muscle mass too fast, it's a recipe for disaster and often in ends in injury. Prepare yourself for slow and incremental increase in strength and size and you'll soon be filling out bigger t-shirts and bumping off the opposition on the bottom. So there you go, our top 10 tips for getting bigger for rugby. Please subscribe to us and any questions you've got, hit us up in the comments below.